the guaranteed rate bowl. That one is Wisconsin and Oklahoma State. And you talk about two teams that probably don't want to be there. Uh, but both of them, however, really, really good as of late in bowl games. This is going to be Jim Leonard's last uh, hurrah as head coach of Wisconsin. Oklahoma State got a lot of guys out, like a whole lot of dudes out. Spencer Sanders is transferring. Uh, I don't know if he's playing. Graham Mertz is transferring. I don't know if he's playing. Uh, it's almost impossible to figure out exactly what's going to happen in this game. But uh, well, let's let's give you the numbers. Oklahoma State is a three and a half point underdog here. Total sits at 43. It's on Tuesday, December 27th at 9.15 p.m. Central Time. Again, I'm recording on Monday, December 19th because, well, I have to. A lot of traveling. Not going to be able to take the studio with me um, regardless. So let's, uh, let's pull this up. Let's look at the numbers. Since week eight of the season, it has Oklahoma State favored by nine or 9.9 sets, so 10 points. And that makes no sense to me. Uh, the The model has been a little little crazy during bowl season. I will go ahead and admit. Uh, Oklahoma State's defense, number 92 PPA per pass, number 78 PPA per rush. Uh, Wisconsin, number 64 PPA per rush. Uh, they run the ball 60% of the time. When they do throw it, they're not very good at it. Number 118 in PPA per pass. That's predicted points added per pass. Uh, PPA margin, uh, Wisconsin is number 39, and Oklahoma State is number 120. So how do we get here? How do we get to where Oklahoma State is actually favored in this game? Uh, that would have to be the plays per game that Oklahoma State runs, and if they can get Wisconsin out of their out of their game, which Wisconsin number 89 in plays per game uh, with 126, well, Oklahoma State plays like 152 plays per game or over that. So they're probably closer to 153. If they can make Wisconsin play faster than they want to, well, that is, that's going to change up the way Wisconsin plays. That'll give Oklahoma State more opportunities at more points. And But this Oklahoma State offense has been putrid. Number 112 PPA per pass. Uh, the number 106 PPA per rush. That Wisconsin defense has actually been pretty good towards the end of the season here. Uh, number seven in PPA per rush, number 31 PPA per pass. Uh, Oklahoma State is number two in penalties per game. Wisconsin is number 92, something you don't typically see from Wisconsin. Uh, incredibly undisciplined. Turnover margin, uh, about the same. Number 79 for Oklahoma State, number 67 for uh, for Wisconsin here. Points per play margin, Wisconsin, number 46, Oklahoma State, 84. That's, uh, that's since uh, week eight. No, 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 that's over the whole season. That's the whole season here. So, yeah, this uh, this becomes very interesting. Both teams significantly better on defense. Uh, Oklahoma State, number 36, defensive success rate. Wisconsin, number five. But Wisconsin's issue is they're number 47 in passing success rate allowed. Uh, that's something that, you know, if Spencer Sanders were to play, they could certainly take advantage of that. I don't have a good feel here about either side. If I'm going based on motivation, I think that these players want to win one for Jim Leonard on the way out. I think that's the way that I'm going to go. That's that's the only thing that I can think of. I know my numbers are way, way off. But man, if you watch Oklahoma State towards the end of the season, uh, when they went up against a team that that could run the ball, which I think that Braylon Allen and that bunch are going to be able to do, um, they've just been putrid. So give me Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin to cover three and a half here. Um, even with the interim coach, I, I think they, I think they like Jim Leonard. I think they want him to win one on the way out. We'll see what happens. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to winning cures. Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.